She's like, where's Beth? And Satan's like, uh, she ran away and joined a cult. And mom is devastated, like, how could Beth do this? Not knowing her daughter is actually a prisoner locked deep in a cellar below her house. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos, and welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix Long Trust. Ah! Alright, let's not waste no more time. Let's get right into this reaction. So this woman, her name's Beth, and Beth has a huge problem. She's just been kidnapped and locked away, and it doesn't look like she's getting out. So Beth just turned 18. She lives at home with her mom and dad, and she really isn't getting along with her dad. Her dad is this guy, who we'll call Satan. So Beth and Satan are always fighting. Their relationship is just not going well. And one day, Satan's had enough, and he comes up with this crazy plan. He goes to Beth, and he asks her to help him down in the cellar with this door he's working on. So they go down into the cellar, and once she's down there, suddenly, boom, he grabs her face with a towel soaked in ether, and it immediately makes her pass out. Sometime later that day, she wakes up, and she appears to be locked in some kind of underground chamber. So what is this underground chamber? So Satan, I guess, is a bit of a survivalist, and underneath their house, they have this cellar. And for years, he's been working on turning it into a bomb shelter. This bomb shelter runs deep and has multiple rooms in it. And in one of those rooms deep in the cellar, there's a bookshelf. And behind that bookshelf is a secret chamber. And Beth is now locked in that secret chamber, and there's no way for her to get out. And at some point, Satan comes down into the chamber to see her. And she's like, why did you lock me in here? Let me out. And he's like, nope. And he leaves her there. Now this little secret chamber she's in, it's really small, but it's livable. It has a little kitchen, a little bathroom, and two little bedroom areas. So anyway, a bit of time passes, and pretty quickly, Beth's mom notices she's missing. And she's like, where's Beth? And Satan's like, That's a whole nother level of being grounded. <laughs> it's, not, it's not funny. It's not funny. This is not funny. What? You thought that, that wasn't... These aren't jokes, guys. It's just... Let's, 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 keep, let's keep listening to this. Let's, let's keep listening to this. He's like, where's Beth? And Satan's like, uh, she ran away and joined a cult. And mom is devastated. Like, how could Beth do this? Not knowing her daughter is actually a prisoner locked deep in a cellar below her house. And from this point on, for whatever reason, Satan decides he's going to leave Beth in there indefinitely. Wait, 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 wait. All he had to do was tell his wife that she joined a cult and that was it? Wasn't... Wasn't Beth like 16 or something years old or something? Am I missing? Maybe, maybe she's, maybe he said 18. I'm not sure. But I, I swear he said like 16 years old. Am I tripping? No police report, no nothing. And <laughs> she just like, oh no, she went, she went, she went to join the cult. Oh, what was me? What, 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 what do we do now? Oh, that's right, nothing. We do nothing. Cause a 16 year old, maybe 16. Went and joined the cult. We're not gonna do no police reports or nothing. No, we're just gonna what? Oh my god, that's weird. Okay, all right, all right. Weird family, right? Yeah, let's keep going. Beth in there indefinitely, and he's gonna keep it a secret from everyone. So every day or so, he sneaks away from his family and he goes down into the cellar and he goes into that little chamber and he brings Beth food and supplies and stuff. But that's not the only thing he does. He also essays her like a lot it's horrible and this goes on for like four or five years and he still hasn't let her out years years i thought he was gonna say like four or five days years years she was locked up no police come who is this mom bro <laughs> like who's the i don't, i know well felix are you blaming the mom no the guy is clearly it goes without saying the guy is terrible hence why he's going by the name satan and everything right but it's like the mom is like if i was the mom i'd be like all right all right come on all right four years no we got to do a police report so maybe they did a police report maybe he's just going fast with the story and just say like we got to look for her she's missing at this point right four years wow wow this guy is nuts Oh my God, let's keep going. He still hasn't let her out. And at this point, she's been essayed by Satan so many times, she gets pregnant. So then she eventually has the baby, like in this secret chamber. And she raises the baby down there because he won't let her out. And another year goes by and he gets her pregnant again. So now she has two kids down there. Then a few years later, you guessed it, 
pregnant again a third time. But this baby, Satan decides to take it upstairs. And he leaves it on the doorstep of his own house, and he tells his wife it's a foundling. He tells her this bullshit story that Beth had run away from home, got pregnant, and came back just to abandon the baby on her parents' doorstep so that she wouldn't have to take care of it. So Beth's mom believes this story, and she's like, okay, I'll raise this baby. Then- All right, I, I don't care what anybody say. Beth's mom is on the spectrum. She's on the damn spectrum. She's a freaking idiot. She's stupid. Oh my God, this woman is stupid. My God. You just believe where's my daughter son <laughs> what is no no oh so she came by just to drop the baby off and leave where's my daughter do you guys have a ring bell a ring doorbell or something like you guys gotta give me something something what the hell is going on here bro like you're not curious like oh where did she go where did she head off to what oh my god let's keep going okay i'll raise this baby then a year later beth gets pregnant again and has a fourth baby down in the cellar and again satan takes it upstairs and tells his wife it's a foundling and she believes him and agrees to raise it and this goes on for years and beth ends up having seven kids down in that cellar but one of them dies in childbirth so she has six kids and three of them satan tricks his own wife beth's mom into raising them while the other three live downstairs locked in the cellar with beth those three cellar kids have been living in captivity their whole life they've never been outside the oldest one is 19 years old and dad is sick the, the dad that is sick he just keeps smashing his daughter getting her pr seven kid i know one passed away seven kids raising three the other kids haven't seen sunlight that got to do something how is this is this i can't say this is a fake story because I, I said i did a reaction to an earlier video of his and i swore it was a fake story it wasn't a fake story even though it still could be he could just be pulling up random pe people's pictures and saying, oh, this is the person and stuff like that. I need, I need to do deeper research to figure out if you know, these stories are real. Because how do you have no sunlight? Are you just like, so what happens? Like, if they come out to the sun and they see the sun for the first time, where their eyes burn? <laughs> like, what's going to, their eyes are going to explode and something like that? Because you haven't seen sun. These guys are basically bats. Years down there in the cellar? Cellar people? Let's keep going. This is crazy. This guy's. Bro, and the mom, some both parties is weird. The, the dad is crazy, right? But the mom is eighty. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it's, it's just it's just how it is. Let's keep going. He's 19 years old and has never even seen the sun until. So the 19 year old, we'll just call her 19. One day down in the cellar, she gets sick like really sick like she's so sick she isn't even conscious and when satan comes down to check on them beth is like 19 is sick please take him to the hospital and she begs him and eventually he agrees so satan secretly carries 19 out of the cellar and he puts her in his car and he drives her to the hospital for treatment there doctors see her and they're immediately like where's this girl's mother and satan's like we don't know where the mother is she joined a cult and abandoned her daughter and left her with us then as 19 is there in the hospital getting treatment she falls into a coma so doctors in order to treat her they desperately need more info about her medical history info that satan doesn't have so they call police and ask them to find 19's mother so then police they put out a missing persons report looking for beth they're holding press conference so this confirms what i said earlier i was just speculating i was like maybe maybe they did send a police report and it isn't like that so they did send a police report so this is the first time they did a police report 19 years not 19 19 years 19 years that mom just let it ride let this crazy loony guy just let it just let it ride. if this does not prove if this does not prove that white women are really submissive it's like not it's not it's not, it's not a race thing it's not a race thing all right i just want to get some black women mad and stuff you know what i'm saying but, but for her, a black woman wouldn't have believed that. A black woman would have came and like, what? What is what? Nah, no, nah, what? Is, she said we went off with a cult. Nah, she probably just went off with with, with Tyrone down the street. Now nah, we gonna find our daughter now. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me be real. Most people would, right? Let me not even make it a race thing. Most people would. This mom is just an idiot. All right, let's just keep. Going. They're holding press conferences with the media, calling for Beth to come forward, saying that her daughter's gonna die if they don't get more info about her medical history. And Beth, who's still locked down in the cellar, she has a little TV down there, and she sees police on TV holding this press conference, so she knows they're looking for her. So the next time Satan comes down into the cellar, she begs him to let her out, so that she can go to the hospital and see 19 and give doctors the info they need. And eventually, reluctant. 
reluctantly, Satan agrees. But he tells her if anyone asks you where you've been all these years, you have to tell them you just escaped from a cult. So then he sneaks Beth and the other two kids out of the cellar and he drives them to the hospital. Now remember, this is the first time the kids have ever been in a car. It's the first time they've ever been outside. So they all get to the hospital and immediately police detain Beth. And they're gonna charge her with child abuse because they believe she abandoned 19 and joined a cult. But once they separate her from Satan and get her talking, she reveals everything. The entire truth. And police are shocked at this story. Because when all is said and done, Beth had been locked in that secret chamber in the cellar for 24 years. She went in when she was 18 and came out when she was 42. She also tells them that Satan had SA'd her over 3,000 times. So they arrest Satan. He eventually admits to everything. Here's what he looks like in real life. Ugh. He goes to trial and he's sentenced to life in a psychiatric prison. Now the good news is 19 ultimately survived. Like she wakes up from her coma. And Beth and the six kids who are all adults now, they're all doing fine and they're trying to live a normal life in Austria. And I wish them all well. Shout out to Austria. That's crazy. So that's what's going on in Austria, man? <laughs> like, why does this be believing stupid lies like that? So she was 18. Okay, so she was 18. That, that makes a little bit more sense, but I think I'd still put out a police report regardless she's 18 years old, right? Is the legal age in Austria 18? Because I know in the West, uh, here in America, it's 18, but, I, you know, other places have different ages. It could be 16, 17 when you consider an adult. I'm not sure. But, um, yo, the <laughs> nah, this guy is nuts. I said 19 years, 24 years she went in at 18, came back at 42. When the mom first seen her, they should explain like how the mom's reaction was like, oh my God, I, I stupidly believed the lie that you joined a cult and just, I just gave up looking for you. I didn't even, I didn't even really look for you. I just like, I just took my husband's word for it, your dad, and just like went for it. Even after I received the first baby, I didn't even think, nah, we really got to get her back now. Like, she gave us a baby. This cult thing is crazy and all that stuff. Who's she having babies with? Like, like this is crazy. And how does this work? Is, is, the, is the mother the... I don't know, man. Uh, This guy definitely locked up for the rest of his life. He looked like he's already old anyway. So he's definitely going to die in prison. Stupid, unnecessary. And some dudes don't deserve to have children. I'm telling you that right now. Some dude, I mean, we already know this. Some dudes do not deserve to have children. This is like the epitome. This makes the movie Precious look like nothing. <laughs> like This makes the Precious movie look like nothing. This is crazy. Because Precious only had, what, two two kids? Was it two kids? Can't remember. Can't remember. I came to band with you. I never even watched the movie. <laughs> I never watched the movie. I just got some cliff notes and stuff like that. When I know, right? Oh, you didn't watch Precious? What? what you yeah, I didn't really want to see Monique out here, you know, getting mad at uh, a fat joint, a fat daughter for getting you know essayed by her dad you know what i'm saying i heard this so i was just like yeah i don't know i don't know i already fell for the the trap by watching four colored girls and i was like nah i can't watch this this is just too sad of a movie i can't watch something like this again so i mean hey it is what it is but yeah this definitely makes precious seem like nothing right this is nothing seven kids one passed away all the way deep in the cellar deep underground hasn't just away from sunlight haven't seen the outside just how could she even how's the antenna downstairs even work like how does he like how's the infrastructure in austria like i want to know like this is this is ridiculous that he really was able to build such a bunker to hold house her and the multiple kids i think it was only three kids that was down there but still ridiculous right but hey hey justice was served even though she's 42 years old she's coming out now in the danger zone deep in the danger zone how's she gonna find a man with seven with six kids Yeesh, and then going through all that trauma, damn, son, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. That makes me think, all the arguments that she was having with her dad, that he probably was the one that was in the wrong in those arguments. Let's be honest, most likely. Probably in the wrong. Now, I'm thinking about it. If he's crazy enough to do this, what else is he crazy and capable of doing? What else? What has he done to his wife? He had to have done something to his wife as well. Here's why she, done, she just didn't question any of the things that he was saying about his daughter. He must be a serial abuser or something, right? Or is this a one-off? I doubt it. Someone capable of doing that. This can't be a one-off. <laughs> but, hey, if you stayed this long, I appreciate you. I love you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way you always be one of the first voice. Same time, leave a like because I'm so damn insecure. Those likes definitely let me know I'm doing this stand-up job.